This is the most amazing piece I have in my personal collection. When I was 15, I was sick for about three months with a very strange blood disease called idiopathic thrombocytopenia purpura. I didn't know what it was. I just knew I was sick and I had to take a lot of medicine. And after about three months, they took my spleen out. And I made this when I was in the hospital right after I had my spleen taken out. And at that time, I was just sewing random pieces. And for the next 36 years, this was a piece that I had on my wall that was just a random abstract piece that reminded me of that time when I was in the hospital. I remember starting by just putting some threads and just sort of organically sewing until it grew to the edge of that piece of fabric. Now, 36 years later, I went to um, massage school and I did a two-year program at the Midwest Institute of Natural Healing and I learned something about Chinese medicine and I learned a lot about my personal physiology and anatomy. And now, I look at this piece and I see that it's like a spleen. It represents the red cells and white cells going through different sorts of processes where they're getting cleaned because that's what a, a spleen does. In Chinese medicine, the spleen line and the heart line are connected. And there is definitely a heart connected to this spleen. So I look at this piece and I feel as if there was some great spirit guiding me while I was sewing that was in some way healing me as if making homage to my spleen that had been taken out of my body. And that's why I encourage people to make art Whatever it is, let yourself create. It is healing and it is something that you can learn from. And even if you don't think you're learning something, just have fun with it. Because I made this for having fun and it's given me joy all these years. Thanks.